Hey, how's it going? I'm Mike, and these are your midweek announcements. First up, we've got a message from Chelsea, our youth pastor. I'm excited to share about what God has been doing in our youth ministries this year. In the fall, I took on middle school alongside high school ministries, and it has been incredible to see how God is working in the lives of our youth across both these ministries. Our mission in youth ministry is that we are a movement of young people seeking to follow the way of Jesus. This mission guides us in all that we do in youth ministries, and it has been such a blessing to be part of a community that is excited about Jesus. Our students are excited about youth, and, we are, and they are proud of their church. In the last month, we have had 30 new students join our youth community. Our students are bringing their friends from school to youth because this community has been so important to them in this season. It is truly an honor to provide space for our young people to learn what it means to follow after Jesus, live out their faith, and invite others into that journey. This past weekend, we took a group of middle schoolers to Southern Alberta Bible Camp for their midwinter escape. As a group of 40, we joined another 300 students from across Southern Alberta for a weekend of playing, laughing, and learning together. Can you imagine running around camp with over 300 middle school students? It was loud, it was sweaty, but it was also so much fun. In our chapel times, we learned about who we are as God's children. We learned, that, we learned that God's desire is for us to be connected to Him, that we are called to abide, to remain, and to live a life centered on being with Jesus. These teachings from the weekend connected well with what we've been learning about in youth. Along with young adults, both middle and high school are studying the book of Luke. And over the last few weeks, we have been learning that at the heart of following Jesus, His desire is for us to simply be with Him. In Luke 10, Jesus says to Martha, You are worried and upset over many things, but few things are needed, or indeed, only one. Here, Jesus teaches that what we truly need is that we would sit at His feet, that we would abide, remain, and live a life centered on being with Jesus. I ask that you would consider praying for us. Pray for our students as they navigate the complexities of our culture and what it looks like to follow the way of Jesus in middle and high school. Please pray for our many volunteers who love and serve our youth each and every week. Pray for the energy and wisdom as we develop growing relationships with our students and follow Jesus alongside them. Our next international dinner will be held on February 25th. Come for a great meal and an evening together. We will be cooking the dinner and you can bring a dessert to share. Spice Up January was a huge success. Now we're headed into Food for Families for the month of February. Our goal is to provide the groceries for 30 Wham bags, weekend and more bags for the Lethbridge School Division. These bags will be given to families in need within our city who need a helping hand. So, we've received the list of groceries for the February bags, and our goal is to fill this entire list. You can go to our website to see the grocery list, as well as pick up paper copies at the info desk. We will also keep a running tally of how much of each item we have collected. Let's do this. Seniors Coffee Time is a place to connect with the people you know, and it's an opportunity to meet some new faces. Come and enjoy a hot tea or coffee on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. in the church lobby. Well, that's all for me. We'll see you on Sunday.